our construction site progress monitoring system uses portable UAVs carrying versatile camera to com complete data collection tasks. Concretely, currently we are using the following equipment. We are using Phantom 2 from DJI, which is very easy to acquire, easy to control, and have a very good performance. To achieve the best image quality, GoPro Clear 3 Plus are used as the image sensor. The first step is data collection. In our example, the camera is set to take photo for every one second. There are many advantages of taking images using UAVs compared to manually taking images on the ground. The aerial view covers a large area in each image, and it is considered more suitable for 3D modeling. The second step is 3D modeling. In this example, we use 113 images to build the 3D model using a well-studied method called Structure for Motion. We use a free Structure for Motion software named Visual SFM to finish the process. The generated model contains around 1 million points, which is good enough for further analysis. The last step is model analysis. The first function is model comparison. If the 3D model is built in a regular routine, we can compare different models using our homemade software. The user can freely zoom in and out, rotate and move each model, which is very convenient for managers to find the progress. The second function is model measurement. We integrate the photos and 3D model tightly, so our system can figure out the correspondence of each photo and model. The user can select target objects in the photo, and we use a flat field algorithm such that similar areas will be automatically selected as well. When the whole object is well selected by adjusting parameters, the volume can be calculated using the corresponding points in 3D model. The calculation takes only several seconds since we use k-dimensional tree to optimize the data structure. As shown in this demo, the points are marked in red in the 3D model, and the result is around 8 cubic meters. As an evaluation, we choose another pile in the same model. Theoretically, it should have the same volume as the previous one. And the calculated result is around 8.6 cubic meters, which is similar to the previous one. It shows that our method can provide a satisfying measurement of target objects. That's all for our system. Thanks for watching.